Music is one of the great loves of my life. I love it for a lot of reasons, but first and foremost, I love it for how it's expanded me. It's taken me to places I never would have otherwise gone, introduced me to people I never would have otherwise met, and given me experiences I never would have otherwise had. One of the interesting people I've met is Maklavena Bob. He's called this because for over 30 years he's been the caretaker of Maklavena Beach on the Big Island of Hawaii. Oh my God, that's a great song. Yeah, that's a great song. Yeah. Yeah, I love singing that song for years. Yeah. Since he came out with it, I think he never <laughs> lived back in the early 50s. Bob's a free spirit in yeah. every sense. He moved to Hawaii from California over 30 years ago after falling in love with beach life. He's a surfer, a musician, and an incredibly interesting man with a lot of great stories. Plus, he's got a perfect break right out his front door. Bob's been playing music since before it was cool to play music. Before everybody had a guitar and before everybody wanted to be in a band. When he started playing, it was rare to find somebody out playing guitar and singing original songs. You had to really search. Bob knew a lot of songs, most of which I'd never heard. They were songs about life in a different era. An era where they didn't have it as easy as we do now. But they had a purity to them. It was an honest struggle. It was great to hear them sung by someone who was personally affected by the era they were written in. Yep, that's a rooster. It was really fun sitting and trading songs with him, though I had to laugh when I played what I thought was an oldie, and he had no idea who Van Morrison was. One thing you can learn from Bob is that there are as many styles of life as there are styles of music, and they all have their place. Sometimes it feels like the world we live in is pretty insane, and in the midst of that insanity, it's kind of nice to spend some time with people like Bob and Kiji who can help you realize that maybe simpler is better. Maybe we don't need all of this complexity. 
A cute little shack on the beach of a tropical island is a pretty good way to go. Maybe we should all aspire to live a life that's just a little more simple. Let's simplify this problem because we can't see the truth at all. More things that we have, the more we seem to want it all. Got a new car, new wife, new house, new life. The news is pitiful. When there's no more new, there'll be no more you because you lost yourself in it all. Good one.